All right, Ron Paul in 90 seconds or less. Can I do it? Let's see here, and I got some notes written down. Ron Paul, the only candidate that will put my country first, second, and third. Unlike many of the uh, people in the current and past administrations that have dual citizens in important positions and end up putting the interests of other nations first and uh, before ours, Ron Paul understands the Constitution and uses it as a guide when voting on bills. The NDNA, uh, right? I mean, the NDAA would never have been signed quietly into the law over the years with almost total MSM silence on the issue had Ron Paul been president. Simple. All right? And the MSM totally selling us out. They're not, like, the, indefinite detention? What? This whole bill? What? Having the military do the functions of the police? What? That no silence, no debate, no anything. It's like, oh, this is a good thing. The, Ron Paul never would have let that go. In fact, this is the amusing thing: is that now several that was the last straw. So for my friends that are Democrats, can no longer support the man. There's just there's no way. Um, pick one: isolationist or non-interventionist. Ron Paul is a non-interventionist, and he would like free trade and an end to the endless wars. I mean, this is not a crazy foreign policy. Getting us out of these ridiculous wars that have been going on for, you know, <laughs> years and years. Longer than World War II. Greed and graft and corruption. War profiteering. It's insane. And putting an end to that, of course they're going to call him a racist or any other thing they can do to get the, you know, get the heat off. And that's not even the biggest issue. All right, parting the non-drug, non-violent drug offenders, that'd be great. You know, get us growing hemp and help legalize, you know, raw milk. <laughs> right, you thought I was going to say something else. I'm just re legalizing raw milk, right? you know, getting something as simple as that. A return to sanity in this nation. But even that, those are smokescreen issues. The main issue is fiscal sanity, where he finally talks about cutting the ludicrous spending and all the graph that goes along with this ridiculous system where we have a private central bank print our money for us and loan it to us at debt, at interest, as debt. I'm the only guy that's talking about that, Ron Paul. Enforce contracts and preserve people's unlimited right to contract, right? lower taxes and an understanding of Austrian economics, which makes us understand the need to get rid of the central bank in the first place. Right? And that, that central banking cartel that is currently absolutely part of our government it's Ron Paul. It's the only guy. It's the only, the only only candidate talking about it. All right? He's the only one that's talking about the central bank, the main issue, All right? returning fiscal sanity to this country, and getting us out of the slavery that we've that we've come to know as our you know Federal Reserve note. Um, that's debt money. As a great quote. Gold, the money of kings, silver, the money of commerce, and, you know, gentlemen, uh, barter, the money of peasants, debt, the money of slaves. Our money is debt. Anyway, Ron Paul is the, is the only guy. And I didn't make too, I didn't even get close to 90 seconds.